Here we got a call for a fridge not working. Basically says that the fridge is coming out warm. So first thing you want to do is take the temperature of the fridge. As you can see here it's coming out at 65, which is extremely warm. 66. Now I do hear the fan motor running. So next what I want to do is I want to check the freezer. See what temperature the freezer is at. It's negative 5 is a normal reading so right now we do know that the fridge is warm but the compressor is running because it's cold here in the freezer and the fan is running in the back so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this back panel remove the shelving remove the ice maker and see if there's any restrictions there now on this particular model you have two screws holding down the bottom panel we just loosen them and take it out then you have two screws holding on the back base right here, one, two. Then you have three which were holding the ice maker. You simply just loosen these, you don't take them all the way, and just take the bottom one out completely, and disassemble by pulling off the plug for the ice maker, and then you're ready to take out the back panel. Now you can see here, we've removed the back panel. This gives us access to the fan motor, to the coils. Once you pull off this back panel right here, you want to make sure that there's no restrictions on the, on the port that shoots down into the fridge. What happens is, is as your fridge is working, it'll take the cold air and push it down into your fridge. And occasionally there'll be ice build up here, which will completely block it off. But here there seems to be no restrictions. So you want to move on obviously to the next portion, which is going to be the port itself. If you look inside, you can see there's a lot of ice build up in there. What you want to do is you want to take a, a screwdriver and slowly chisel at it and chip it away so that you can clear up this port because as long as this port is blocked, the freezer will get cold, but it won't be able to push down into the fridge. Now you want to make sure that the port is nice and clear, which you can see we cleaned it out. You also want to make sure that these ports here are clear of ice as well. And uh, as I continue to observe, you can see here what happened was the drain line got clogged up and it got froze over and so basically as this froze over the water starts to just freeze up here and just starts to basically make a nice sheet of ice which will block the ports up so you want to make sure not only to clear this out but you want to also clear out your drain you can see here we put everything back in the freezer we put the panels back up we put the ice maker attached the wires in the back Put the ice tray back now what you want to do is you want to take the temperature of your fridge and i've been letting it run for a couple of minutes but you should see a reading it's coming out at 46 right now 45 and it'll take a few hours for it to completely cool down